Welcome to our weekly updates from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby health center in BTM Layout, Bangalore. Here our eminent doctors give you tips on topical issues every day. Hi friends, uh, we have the eminent uh, obstetrician and gynecologist Dr. Nirmala here with us again. Uh, Dr. Nirmala, uh, needless to uh, say, has got an eminent career. Uh, she has uh, been practicing for the last 20 years uh, and she has uh, been in the field of infertility for the last 15 years and is an acknowledged expert in the nation on that subject. Uh, Dr. Nirmala today is here uh, going to talk about uh, what is called PCOD, polycystic ovarian disease. Um, Dr. Nirmala, over to Hi. you. Okay, polycystic, I think we would have heard enough about polycystic, you know, everywhere polycystic, polycystic, you know, in young children, married couples, you know, and their impacts on its uh, health. So today we'll just concentrate on polycystic ovarian disease, how it affects um, uh, a woman in uh, not allowing her to conceive. Alright, so what do we understand first by this term polycystic? It is actually a misnomer to be, mm -hmm. you know, very clear about it. You know, people come and ask when, when the term says polycystic, do I have cysts in my ovary? Do I mm -hmm. have... Cyst is nothing but a fluid collection, mm -hmm. you know, in the ovary mm -hmm. and the egg producing structures. So they commonly have this thought that do I have cyst? Is my cyst there? Is my cyst... Has my cyst gone? Uh, to tell you the fact, polycystic is a misnomer. Mm -hmm. It's strongly named. They are not cysts actually. They are all immature ova, eggs mm -hmm. which are there mm -hmm. in the ovary. But for some reason the signals that are coming down from the brain which aid in mature. allowing these eggs to grow, mature and get released mm -hmm. is not happening in mm -hmm. the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, on the contrary, it is a, um, I would uh, specifically say that it's a genetic problem. Mm -hmm. And again here I like to stress that all genetic problems need not be hereditary. Mm -hmm. Because there would be a lady when, when I say you have, look you have a genetic problem so immediately she would ask me my mother didn't have and I I born to her very easily mm -hmm. that's not true all genetic problems need not be hereditary mm -hmm. but this is an alteration in the gene okay so what happens because of that the body is circulating a higher amount of male hormones mm -hmm. Right. That is an opposite uh, environment altogether. Mm -hmm. So that prevents the growth, maturation and release of eggs from the ovary. This is the primary problem okay. with PCO. Okay. All that we need to do in these people is to understand what kind of imbalance is happening mm -hmm. and how much of imbalance is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we try to give them medications mm -hmm. which will uh, reduce the secretion or production of the male hormones in the body. Okay. That's the way we deal with them. Okay. Um, so, uh, what should you be, you know, what are the kind of things that, uh, you know, uh, would uh, stop it from happening? I mean, are there things that you need to do to make sure that this doesn't come? I mean, are they... Uh, um, as I already told you, the cause, the cause, it's a genetic problem. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have a control over anything mm -hmm. which is genetic, neither do you have a cure for anything which is genetic. Okay. That's the other uh, question that they commonly put to us, you know. Uh, okay, well, I'm willing to take the medications. Am I going to be okay at the end of it? Uh -huh. No. I wish to say that it is not possible. Mm -hmm. There's no complete cure. Mm -hmm. All that we can do is, I told you there is an imbalance in the signals. I can only try to okay. correct those mm -hmm. imbalances mm -hmm. and help the egg to mature, go it, with the help it, of further it, medication got it, got it. and then uh, help them to achieve a baby. Mm -hmm. That is all what is possible. Mm -hmm. And um, how uh, how do you understand whether the patient has a PCO? There are certain symptoms and signs which give us a and there are uh, ultrasound uh, method of understanding. A mm -hmm. scan gives a very typical picture of mm -hmm. multiple eggs which are unable to grow, mm -hmm. what we call as a typical polycystic ovaries. And then if you look at a lady with polycystic ovary, you would see that they are obese, you know, mm -hmm. with a lot of fat on their abdomen, on the back mm -hmm. That is the kind of a fat distribution that they have. Okay. And then they also have more hair, the male pattern of hair growth. Okay. Okay. There is hair in the midline, you know. Mm -hmm. They would have a little bit of hair here, here and sideburns, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. thick eyebrows, the texture of the hair also would be coarse like that of a man's mm -hmm. hair on the hands, belly. This is the hair distribution. Okay. So that also gives us a clue okay. to obesity, increased hair growth and if you look at their cycles, maybe normal, mm -hmm. maybe abnormal or may not be getting at all cycles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the, there's a wide spectrum of what we call as oligomenorrhea, that is infrequent cycles mm -hmm. right up to not having any periods at all, and menorrhea. Mm -hmm. It's a varied spectrum, the presentations are different in different people. There could be a polycystic ovary, occasionally she could ovulate who would just conceive on her own, whereas mm -hmm. there could be somebody else 
could definitely need assistance to bring the male hormone levels down and then medicines to increase the female hormones and help her out. There could be somebody that who could continuously produce in spite of all medications a bad quality mm -hmm. egg and could land up in a, uh, you know taking up a procedure of IVF also I for the sake of the same problem. Okay. The presentation is varied and the techniques of treatment are varied. It's absolutely individualized. Mm -hmm. Thank you, doctor. I think that was extremely insightful and that was presented in very layman's terms. And I'm not a doctor and I got it all. So thanks a ton. Really appreciate it. And I uh, hope you found the uh, presentation insightful. As I, as I will look forward to feedback on this, uh, do let us know. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are listening to our weekly video cast from Little Baby Bump, a mom and baby center in BTM layout, second stage, Bangalore. To find out more, please visit lilbabybump.com or facebook.com slash little baby bump. Thank you very much for listening.